On this episode of The World's Strictest Parents. You gotta have something better to do than to stand there and look at me, don't you? Meet the Toscanos from Orlando, Florida. I could fire you, you know, at any time. A tough talking family who say what they mean. There's no drugs allowed in my house. And mean what they say. Where do you keep drugs? For the next week, they'll take in two headstrong teens. What did you just say to me? Did you not hear me? Okay. Are you dead? You know what? But will the Toscano's watchful eyes and concrete morals... You don't speak like that to Tony. ...help these teens to see the light? We're getting on the wrong foot. We're starting out on the wrong foot already. I'm Angela, I'm 17, and I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Don't talk like You're that. You're stupid! Stop. No! Yes. Leave me alone! You need to get out of here! I don't care! Angela doesn't seem to respect me at all as her mother. Angela, you need to go get your laundry done. My mom is super annoying. She will sit there and nag and nag and nag. Get up and do it. Can I have five seconds, please? Put the cigarette down and give me your phone now. Uh-uh. I do smoke in my room. I do have ashtrays. They're usually full of cigarette buds. I don't usually dump it out until it's like too gross. This is my tequila. It's empty. Tequila is one of my favorites. If Angela doesn't wake up and get her life back together, it's just going to be a series of dead end jobs, and eventually the parties are going to end. She's not going to have much of a life to look forward to. I'm Jay. I'm 17, and I'm from South Pasadena, California. What do you mean, whether I like it or not? Yeah, I have a Life too, all right? I'm not gonna just be quiet. If you're gonna talk over me, I'll do please, it back to you. Can you please not say the F word? Jay is out of control. Don't, mom. It's not getting anywhere. Every time we argue, no. When I kind of raise my voice, he raises his voice too. Just do it. No, that's not. What the? F I'm just gonna listen to that. I don't want you to say that. I'm gonna say if you're gonna piss me off, it's like enough you know to say what? it. I wouldn't say I'm the life of the party. I would say I'm the one to get the party started. Weed is actually pretty important in my life. I mean, as long as I have bud, it's pretty much an every night thing. As far as drugs, um, I really don't want him to go that route. It's nothing to be considered lightly or to be played around with. Yeah, so what the f Leave me alone. Everything for a mother to let her child just go. I just have to trust that he's gonna be okay. No, this family doesn't know what I'm about to bring. I think they're gonna be surprised with that I have up my sleeve. She has a tremendous amount of potential, but she just needs to get back on the straight and narrow. I'm Tommy Toscano. I live here with my wife, Tony, my son, Michael, in Orlando, Florida. Make sure you get the corners. Michael helps me with just about anything I ask in the house. He does his chores that we have every day for him, and then we add on some. Put that on the floor. Put it on yes. the floor. Yeah, go get one of those plastic bags that we Don't use. Remember. There you go. You need discipline in your life. You need control. And sit straight. You got to have something better to do than to stand there and look at me, don't you? I was a New York City police officer for 23 years. You can't get much past Tommy. I want this to go off nice and smooth, and that's the end of that. They see him, and they know, OK, I don't push this man's buttons, because if you do, you're not going to like it. I could fire you, you know, at any time. He could be in another state, and it feels like his presence is still in the same house as you. It's almost scary. My biggest rule is that you respect me, I respect you. Tommy and I opened up a, a restaurant. Michael, Mike, we got to get this delivery away. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of hours. Oh my god, they have so much cleaning to do. This is ridiculous. It's definitely a group effort. Oh, that looks good. My son could cook. If you come here and you're going to stay with us, you're going to be part of our family. You're going to do things our way. Uh, and I believe our way is the right way. What's your name? Angela. I'm Jay. Hey. Nice to meet you. When I first saw Angela, I was just hoping that she was going to rebel as much as I was. What would you bring with you? 
I bought some cigarettes and then I brought some bud that I hid like in my pants. We both just want to have a fun time and make the parents like know that they're not going to be able to control us. So you're going to stick to rebelling against the parents? Yeah. All right, you better because I'm going to. You know, I always say you lead by example. So these kids are, uh, they need help and, and we're here to do it, OK? I will go ballistic if I see anything I don't like, and you know exactly what, they bring, what I mean. <laughs> What if they bring drugs in here? That's my point. You get locked up. I'm afraid to look. Uh-oh. He does not look very nice. I know. <laughs> Tony and Tommy were nothing like anyone I've ever seen. Your name is? I'm Angela. Angela? Hi, Angela. Tommy. I'd shake your guys' hands Tony and Michael. And Michael. And you Jay. are? Jay. Jay? Yeah. How are you, Jay? I'm good. They almost looked like the whole family could be like a mobster family, like straight up. Come on in. Yeah, come on Can in. Let me just first give you a hug. Hi. When I first met the kids, I immediately went to give them a hug, but I also wanted to see if they were smoking or smoking pot or drinking, because you could smell it right away. Why don't you guys sit on that side over there, OK? Right. And then we'll chit-chat a little bit. If you're staying with me for a week, a day, or an hour, uh, if you're in my house, you will respect my rules. When we go over our rules, if they're broken, when he gets involved, I wouldn't let it go that far. Absolutely no alcohol, no cursing, no smoking. If you see any adult smoking, because Tommy does smoke a cigar, he's over 18, you're not. Absolutely zero tolerance for any drugs whatsoever. You okay with everything, Jay? You drink? Yeah. You smoke weed? Yeah. You do coke? No. Being that he smoked pot, I thought he was bringing pot into the house. You, what do you have in your pockets? Anything? OK. Anything else? Back pockets. You got anything in your shoes? What the f What can I put in my shoes? Oh, no, 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 sweetheart, sweetheart. Excuse me? I don't have anything in my okay. shoes. Say it again to me. I don't have anything in my shoes. Excuse me? I don't, I don't have, have anything in my shoes. Okay. There's no cursing, OK? All right. Just try to relax and try No, he's to... taking my wallet going through my You have any here way I would take your wallet? No, I You know don't. what they did for 20 I'm years? I was a cop it. in New York City, 23 yeah. years. Right. Where do you keep drugs? Where do you keep your I little stamp? Do you put it in your wallet? No, because there's no drugs that I'm going to put in my wallet. There's no, where would you put the drugs? I don't Tell have any drugs. drugs. OK, well, I'm checking, because there's no drugs allowed in my house. All right. OK? There's no drugs allowed in my All house. Right, you don't have to get in my Is face that okay? about it. No, yeah, it's cool. I don't like the attitude already, pal. I don't like it. I'm right. asking you a question. I said, take your stuff out and, and put I it, put on, it the on the table. Very good. And I asked if you had anything else, and you're playing games with me. I'm not okay? playing games with you. I'm okay? telling you straight up. Listen to me. Listen to me. Don't curse me. Do not curse me. Do you understand that? OK? We're getting on the wrong foot. We're starting out on the wrong foot already. Let me see what you got. Let's go. You know, open up your bag and take everything out. What I brought to the house was some bud in a, one of my pants pockets. And that's what I was actually scared of him finding. Anything in there? I need the shoes. What are you doing with a lot? I guess I left it in my bag. Well, this ain't staying in here. All right. You can check my camera case, too. Oh, I plan on it. OK. Can I keep my pads and my tampons in the bathroom? Absolutely. The only thing I had in my bag that she could have found were cigarettes, and they were hidden within a pad. So I took it into the bathroom and put it down. It wasn't that, it wasn't that simple. Yeah. Hmm? There you go. Yeah, the beginning could have been simple, too. Because you, what? The beginning could have been simple, too. The beginning was simple. You made it Not difficult. until you started screaming in my face. I didn't scream in your face. Yeah, I asked you, you to did. Take your, I, I asked you to take the stuff out of your pockets, and you decided that and you then wanted I to play games. And I asked you why you're looking and through I asked it, you, and then you started screaming I'm in my looking face. for it because I don't know you. See, I don't know to, you either. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Myself. Let's start all over again. Let's start from, from like, you just got here, OK? I changed gears with Jay because I didn't want him to think that it was just going to be me screaming at him for the week that he was here. I want to try to earn his trust. If you respect me and talk to me, I will respect you and talk to you. All right. How's that? Good? Yeah. Good job.
Let's get you stuff, boy. They're kind of crazy. <laughs> They're really strict. You didn't find my cigarettes in my butt. I guess I am a little smarter than a 23-year working cop. You have to have the authority, and you have to have the presence. I'm the boss. That's the way it's going to be. Big J. Wakey, wakey. Time to go to work. Oh, damn. Up and out. We have to be really quick because I have to be at the restaurant. We have a successful restaurant, and Jay and Angela will be uh, participating in all family work. It's not going to be a vacation for them. Aunt Angela. I was kind of taking my time. Like, I took kind of a long shower, and like, I wasn't really feeling like I needed to get like rushed. Angela, we have to make it quick. Come on. We're going to make this bed a lot better, right? When we found out we were going to work at the restaurant, I was like, what the hell? What is that? I think he was going to try to lock us out of the room. He put that with him? Can I see that thing? Are you kidding me? I guess he likes his privacy. What's he hiding? Why don't you put an apron on? Why don't you put an apron on? You know, the restaurant business is regular maintenance. Every day, it's the same thing. And there's just constantly so much behind the scenes work. Let's gear up. There's setting tables. There's sweeping. There's cleaning. There's washing dishes. OK, you guys ready? Oh. Are you kidding me? I thought it was really gross that I had to clean dishes that other people had ate off of and, like, I didn't even want to touch it. I don't even know what I'm doing. We're her workers. They have no knowledge of doing anything other than partying with their friends and doing what they want to do. I mean, we have to really kind of speed it up. But the cooks are going to need this. They have no knowledge of work whatsoever. I don't believe that they knew what they were in for. I haven't done anything this nasty in so long. But that's part of life. You don't start off being the boss. Now grab those mats. We're going to bring them outside. You're going to lay them flat because we're going to scrub them. Well, we normally scrub the kitchen mats every day. What? OK, well, mine doesn't like go like that. Make it go like that. I wanted to quit. The mats were gross. And like, I really wanted to quit. I didn't want to do it. Make sure the bathroom's clean. Lift the toilet lid. Needs paper. It's already clean. No, squirt and clean. There's, it's Look, white as pearls. Spray it and stop being smart. It's now scrub. It's already not even yep. to be clean. Enough. Enough what? Of your mouth. I'm going to talk about something to say. Hey, you have nothing to say. Just Yeah, I do it. have something to say. This I just said This is your it. job. And stop speaking like that. That's disrespectful. I don't want to show her any respect. Do you want me to clean or not? It's going to stop now. All now. Right, so then let me clean. OK. And we keep that our mouth. We don't speak like that to Tony. All right. Say the word yes, and it ends right there. No, that's not how it works with me. Don't push me. Are you living in my house? Are you all in right. my restaurant? And I'm cleaning Are your damn you? bathroom, all right? You what? I'm cleaning Excuse your damn me, bathroom. Me? What did you just say to me? Did you not hear me? Okay. Are you dead? You know what? Now it's time for you to talk to Tommy. She can take everything she just said and shove it up her ass. I asked them to clean the bathroom and kept telling me they were clean. I can't, I can't function like this, okay? Because job. Okay, leave him on the floor with me. He never had a job before. Leave him on the floor with me. Jay he just wants to rebel against everything that an adult tells him. Jay, go with me. Come on, Siamese twins right now. You're staying with me. Come on. Right. It's no debate. It's not a democracy. It's do it, and that's it. My wife tells you to do something, okay? I don't want any back talk. Just do what you're told, because while you're here for this week, you are mine. That's it. My children don't do it. You're my for the week. You're not doing it, okay? Right. I don't want to hear. All I want you to hear is say, yes, sir, no, ma'am, yes, ma'am, that's it, right. okay? Are we on the same page now? Yeah. Okay, good. I wasn't about to talk back to Tommy, because I don't want to piss off the giant. You need 15 eggs. 15? Yep. When Jay went in the dining room with Tommy, I thought, now I can spend 
who time, you know, with Angela, and I could teach her how to make meatballs. You're gonna crack all those eggs in there. Crack it fast, make sure they don't shell. Okay. I got it. You got one more in there? Yeah, two. Working as a family isn't something I'm really used to because I usually do my own thing and, like, I don't really help out or anything. So it was a good feeling. I liked it. Like that? Yes. Okay, spray that shelf. Wipe it. There you go. Now you know it. There you go. Tommy is kind of a guy that doesn't take any bull and I can see that. To survive the rest of the week, I'm going to kind of try to stay low on the radar. This is a black piano? Yeah. OK. Undusted. All right. Thank you. The restaurant is our livelihood. You, you definitely need teamwork to make it a successful restaurant. If the bread's too dark, because Ishmael likes it dark, so he thinks everybody does. Thank you. OK? Thank you. All right. All right. You guys eat. I had a really bad day, and I'm not looking forward to it tomorrow. I gave a little bit of attitude, but that's nothing compared to like how I usually am. So how busy we were? Yeah. OK. I'm done. You're done? Yeah, how about you? you? Yeah. yeah. Coming up, I'm going to go through everything up in your bedroom. OK. Will the teen's lies catch up with them? Get it out. Oh. If you got anything else, get it out. Get, get, get it out. Angela, you have to wake up. Angela did tell us that she smoked cigarettes. There was no way that she would not have cigarettes in her room. I found the cigarettes. OK, so can I have them? I used to do this a lot to my kids. I never went into Angela's room to look for the cigarettes. I lied to her and said I was there. I got two. And I only brought down two instead of, like, all the ones I had. I was a little nervous for Angela in the morning just because I knew that she got caught with cigarettes. You want to tell Tommy? I had some cigarettes. I had two. I gave them to Tony. It was quite frustrating. It, it was frustrating. I find it difficult to believe that you got two cigarettes, three cigarettes. I, I think we're going to have to do another look through your, your stuff, OK? OK. Mine's stuff, too? Please. All right. All right? I have no problem with that. Thank you. I was really confident because I had gone three days already without getting caught, so I didn't think it was going to happen yet. I'm going to go through everything up in your bedroom. OK. I was thinking, just like, try and keep him out of the bathroom. I know there's nothing in my room, so I'm good there. Any the girl trash. products that you have here? I was ready to freak out. Oh, baby girl, I can't believe this. I'm not going to fight. OK, let's go downstairs. Are we ready, Jay? I thought I had everything perfectly set, like, for him not to find anything. What is this? I guess I was wrong. Rolling no. papers? Yeah. No. What do you have rolling papers for? Totally forgot those were in there. Maybe the smoke that's fired. We go to the bathroom now, OK? All right. That's when I started tripping. I can go one or two ways with this. I can go one or two ways. I can call the cops and have your ass locked up, or you can go inside and think about what you just did. I was pretty scared because he has the power to do whatever he wants. You've been smoking? No, I haven't smoked at all. You've been smoking? I haven't. I'm going to give you one shot. I haven't if you've got anything else hidden, get it out. Tommy and Tony have told us a million times that that is the one thing they will not tolerate is drugs in their home. Get it out. What is this? What else? It's a, I have a lighter. But... What else? I'm going to tell you, you want me to go through the rest of this? No, I don't. Get it out. I don't if you wanna... got anything else, get it out. I don't want to go through what any of that. Get it out. What is this? Drugs is something that Tony has zero tolerance for. What is uh, this? I, I would pot. not go through anything else like that. What, what else you got? It's pot. What oh, else you got? God. I'm going to go through the rest yeah, of this thing. Get it out. Get it out. Jay, get it out. Jay lied. He deceived me. He betrayed me. You ever been in Florida jail? No, I haven't. Uh, would you like to try Florida, like jail? To be in Florida jail? 
look at it. It's not opened whatsoever. I wasn't even going to use it. He could have been locked up for it very easily. I didn't want to call the cops. I'm going to give you the honors. Come on. It's nothing. I tried to back off a little bit with Jay. It's going to take me time to figure out what the problem is. I think Angela's just a little less defiant at this point. Sit in a few minutes. Let's chit chat. Do you, you understand the reason why we had problems? Yeah, I do. There are consequences for disobeying rules and being disrespectful. I want to be more respectful. You want to be. But the, I'm going to be. Are you going to be? It's, it certainly is not fun not being trusted, is it? No. How, how can you live like that with every time you say something, people go, OK, she's not telling the truth. Let's go. I mean, you're still young. You could repair it. You're only 17 years old. I know, and you, I'm going to. You're going to? I want people to be able to trust me. Just like I want to be able to, like, trust people, too. Angela, uh, she had a breakthrough. I think she, very least, Angela was going to try. I truly believe after the second search, Jay and Angela had something to prove to us. Run this outside to table, uh, the, the outside table. After getting caught for the weed and the cigarettes and everything that was in my room, that made me feel kind of bad. So that's pretty much trying to gain their trust back. Here you go. I feel really bad. Like, I do still want to get on their good side. How much do you want? Put her on. I'll tell you when to stop. Where's table one? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, all right, you can cut them a smidge bigger than that, but OK. Right, pay them one for me. Honestly, I think Jay enjoyed uh, the restaurant. He was cutting bread, and he was bussing tables. Do you guys need any more bread? Not yet. You're right? All right. Jay likes working here. Me too. The first time we went into the restaurant, it was they were complaining and whining and making comments under their breath. And tonight, they were star employees. Let them know what it is. Just make lines, back and forth. Beautiful. I like the fact that, like, we were all working together and, like, working in as a team, because I felt like I was a part of the family. You know, when you're going to apply for a job, you have a reference. You know this reference? Yeah, I'll give you a great reference, because you're doing great. Thank you. Coming up. Listen, I uh, received a letter from your mom. Is Jay still hiding something? Why can't you just read line for line? Last night, when we went to the restaurant, I saw such a change in Angela and Jay that I was like, <gasps> I was so happy. You guys did really well at work, the both of you. You like well. it there, huh, Jay? Mm-hmm. You were moving pretty good last night. Both of you. You were cooking. Jay did receive the letter from his mother, and uh, I, I brought him in to him. You want me to stick around while you read them, or? No, it's all right. You want to read them in private? Yeah. I was actually really ashamed of some of the stuff that she wrote or actually some of the stuff that I did before I came here. How we doing? Come on. Read the letters? Yeah. Want to read them to me? Not really. Why? I'm sorry. I would rather keep it. Mm hmm? I would rather just keep it. We could talk about it. We could, we can, after we read them, we can talk about what's going on at home. I think this may be a big part of uh, what we could do to help you out, Jay. What's the problem? I would just rather keep it to myself. I understand that, but what I'm trying to say is, what's the problem at home? I don't know that. I just need to is show more you? respect. Is it you? Yeah, I just need to show more respect to them. You got to show them more respect? A lot more, yeah. Yeah. There was something in those letters he didn't want me to see. Oh, it's been anything but smooth. It went from bad to worse. Why can't you just read line for line? Is it difficult? It's, it's, yeah, it's really hard. I can't read this. I wasn't that familiar with the guy, and I didn't really want to talk about all this personal life with him. Let me see. Here, I'll hold it. What I can't see as it is. What, are you kidding me? All right. 
no means of communication with you, right? Only open. Now I don't. And so will your swinging at my. No child of mine has ever done that to me. So you swung at your mother. I wasn't swinging at her. No child of mine has ever done that to me. I was shocked. Uh, I, I, well, I, I was taken by. Give me some feedback. What do you think's going on? What do you think you need to I do? I don't know what's going on, and I know what I need to do. When you get home, what's going to be the first thing that you do? Give all my parents a big hug, because I really miss them. So that's your plan. Give them a big hug. How are you going to change your life? I'm going to follow like more of what they tell me. You know, Jake, change comes from, from in there. You got to do it because, not because you read a letter or because I'm sitting here talking to you. You got to do it because you want to do it. We'll talk again, OK? All right? The letters revealed a lot of what's going on in Jay's family life. Come on, let's start our day. Where are we going? We're going to have a little bit. Come on. <clears throat> So, Mayor, what do you think of that? Right. Come on, Jake. Me and you go outside with her. A little heart to heart. I believe the letter made a tremendous impact on Jay and wanted to see if, if he was taking it in. Let me ask you a question. When you, when you, when you head back home, what are your plans to, to, for your family life? I don't know. I, it's just like after going through all this, I kind of realize what I have at home, like what it actually could be. Because mm -hmm. I do have the capability of having something really nice. I just have to not do what I've been doing. You know, it's so important that 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 family. You know how proud my 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 family was of me when I got promoted to third grade detective, second grade detective, first grade detective. I think my family was more proud of me than, uh, than I was of myself. I want to give them what they deserve and what they've earned. Like, I haven't been giving them what they've been giving me. It can't be fun every day getting up and saying, we're going to battle today. We're going to fight. I'm going to curse my mother. I'm going to smack my mother's hand. I'm going to tell my father to, to go F himself or my mother. That had to make you feel like hell. I regret all of it. I know you do. I wish I could go back so bad and just take it all back. I know you do. I know you do. And I and I really believe that you will try to make that you will try to make up for that. You know? And you gotta and you gotta remember something. When things aren't going right for your dad and your mom because of something, you gotta try to step in and help. Make right? it easier for him, yeah. Correct. You gotta try to make it easier for him. I met Tommy as this hard ass guy. And later on, I learned that he has a soft side, and he's actually really caring if you get to know him. Now, we're going to change when we get home, right? Mm-hmm. No more drinking? Nope. No more smoking pot? No more disrespecting mom and dad? Not at all. Just take something away with you, OK? All right. I, I hope that you got something out of this week that we spent together. I really, And I think you did. I definitely did. You did, right? Yeah. It was pretty cool spending time with Tommy because I haven't been able to talk to anybody like that, and I've kind of just been bottling it all up, and I kind of got to let a lot of it go, and it was really, like, it felt good. You okay with that? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, kid. All right. You trust me? I do. Thank you, Tommy. Appreciate it. Good job. Good job. Thank you. He was actually listening and absorbing everything I was saying, and I believe that I, I got through to him to a certain degree, and, and it was a total turnaround. It truly was a total turnaround. All right, let's see how this goes. I have a letter here from your mom. <coughs> I saw her face, and her reaction seemed a little shocked. Dear Angela, I hope you have gained some valuable insight into life and responsibilities. I believe this experience can truly make you grow and become a better person 
who now knows that life isn't all about you. And it just says, love you, mom. Well, well, are you disappointed? I am disappointed that, like, she didn't write more. I feel like she feels like there's no point anymore in trying. Are you hurt by it? I feel bad about the way I've treated her. Like, if anybody else talked to her, like, the way I do, I'd probably, I'd freak out. Like, I don't even know what I'd do. Because, like, she's had to give up so much for me, and, like, she's had to change a lot. I know right now you're hurting really, really bad, and you have some anger with that. You're right. I just want to fix it. I think, you know, if you would sit down and talk to your mom, tell me if I'm wrong, that your mom won't spend a lot of time with you because why? First of all, you're probably not never around. Do you ever think that maybe your mom's lonely and she likes for you to be around? I know I... she's lonely. And, and where's Angela? Out with her friends, right. with her boyfriend. It's good to open up to people, let them know. I'm hurting and I'm mad. And or even if you're mad about this letter, if it's short, if it's like you should, you should, you should let that out. I'm just upset because it is short and she can't open up to me because I'm not respectful and I'm not responsible and I treat her like Okay. I love my mom a lot and like, I respect her even though I don't act like it all the time, but I do really respect her and like what she's had to do. Yeah. And if I could see her right now, I would tell her that. Michael and a couple of his friends came over, and the kids had a little pool party here. We had some burgers and hot dogs. Are you going to the pool? No, my Speedo is drying. I can't wear it right now. <laughs> they needed this release to be around kids their own age. Oh. <laughs> the fact that the Toscano family can get together and be open with each other is for sure something that I want to take home with me. Like, I want to be able to do that at home. If you trust each other and you're open with each other, you're going to get along better. Good job. The pool party was just more of a uh, relief to show that when you do good things, good things happen to you. I'm going to be a lifeguard, Mom. Coming up. I want us to be able to be more open. Can the teens repair their broken relationships? It really hurt more because no one ever did that to me. Morning, Jay. Good morning. Good morning. We just got word that your parents are on their way. They should be here in 15, 20 minutes. All right. So get yourself oh, yeah, all packed up. Like... And, uh, Happy, huh? Mm hmm. <laughs> we'll see you in a few minutes outside. It feels really good knowing my mom is just down the street. I mean, I've been missing her all week and wanting to see her, and I finally get to do that. When your mom comes, be as honest as you can and don't be afraid. Okay. It'll work out. It really will, okay? Yeah. A little hug. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I love you. I'm kind of nervous that my mom's on her way because I have to open up to her and like talk to her about what I learned and like how I really feel and how her letter made me feel. It would be really nice for Angela to learn that the world didn't revolve around her and that uh, you have to help out in a family and it's not just whatever she wants, whenever she wants. Let's go say hello. I am worried because I don't want my mom to give up on me and I don't want her to give up trying to talk to me. Hey, sweetie. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Tired. Tired? You been having fun? When I first walked up and uh, gave her a hug, she seemed uh, genuinely happy and a little more relaxed. I think we should have a little conversation. I thought I was gonna be able to get away with a lot. But then I learned Tommy was like a detective for like 23 years. Well, you're not gonna pull much on him, are you? No. I learned that. <laughs> when I got your letter and I like read it, it kind of made me like think that like you couldn't really open up to me and tell me how you wanted me 
to like change or like what you want expected from me because it was so short and like I just didn't like know why you didn't want to tell me more. I just didn't know what to say. You don't listen to what I say. I've said it over and over and over and over. I want us to be able to be more open, and I want us to be able to trust each other more and, like, not have to fight about everything. Like, I want to help out more. I feel like I stressed you out a lot, and I kind of just want to help. I don't want to sit there and add more stress. That would be nice. <laughs> that would probably help a whole lot. It would. I know it would. I think that what's lacking is just the communication between you and your mom and your mom and you. Uh, I, I think what you guys need is just to have some real quality time together. I think that'll help a lot, you know, and I think Angela's a great kid and I think that she's... Oh, she's a beautiful girl. Oh, I don't you. think you're gonna have... Uh, I think she's gonna really try and I hope that you got something out of your, your stay here. I got that, like, how important family actually is. I also learned a lot about, like, how I should respect my mom and why I shouldn't like treat her badly and stuff and like I want like you guys are so good with your family and like I want to be like that like I don't want to snap every time like my mom asked me to do something like and I'm not going to I'm not gonna say I'm gonna try not to I'm just not going to okay. to have her actually come out and talk and be honest I believe Angela and I can start working on having a constructive communication and working together Thank good you meeting you too help. I believe we've hit a milestone. I hope that Angela goes home and builds a very strong and loving relationship with her mother. There's definitely a breakthrough there with Angela. I truly hope that they will rekindle that mother and daughter relationship. Thank you too. I realized that I take a lot for granted, and I realized that the way I treated my mom was wrong. I'm so glad you're coming home. Oh, I'm glad to see everybody. We all missed you too. I'm excited to see him, learn from him what went on, but at the same time, I'm kind of uh, trying not to be too hopeful that things are going to change. Oh, I think your mom's here. I feel like I have a lot of regret for the things I've done in the past and realizing that I should have been showing a lot more respect and care. Mom. <laughs> Felt really good to see my mom. I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> miss you, baby. Miss you so much, mom. He said, you know, I love you, mom. I missed you. That was great. Tell your mother how we have family is. They all show each other respect, and it's like never mm -hmm. any like down talk or anything to each other. That's that's a true family. Well, what were the rules? The biggest one was they wanted respect from me, like no talking back or cursing or anything. No smoking at all. How about honesty? Were you honest with us? I actually brought a little bit of weed with me, and I had cigarettes, and they were looking through my room. Mm -hmm. And they found it, and... You know that he is smoking pot. I guess it was easier for me to, to not believe it than to believe it. received the letters that you had sent. Uh, and, I, and I think there's one part in there that you were really hurt when Jay took a little oh, yeah. swipe at you, am I, I just, right? It really hurt more because um, no one ever did that to me. And for my own child mm, to do that, I, yeah. I, I, uh, it, it, it's not, it, maybe it's, it's more than the action, it's the fact that I don't want my kid to be like this. If he could do it to, to his own mother, I, you know, how, uh, it, it won't be too far uh, from reality for him to do something like that to other people. I'm sorry for that, Mom, honestly. So, I'm really it's, sorry. It's okay, baby. I just, just don't let it happen again. I know. I wish <laughs> I could go back and take it back. I know. I actually want to stop smoking and 
like hiding, do, doing things behind your backs and stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's going to be a changed uh, young man. Uh, I, I truly believe, and I, I and I hope that I'm, I'm right, and uh, that we uh, we had a little impact on Jay. I hope we had a big impact on Jay. After all this week, I've definitely gained a way more appreciation for my family. Come here, kid. Come on. Come Thank on, you. Thank you so much for everything. I think that this experience is an experience of a lifetime for Jay. I do believe that it's going to be different. Uh, pleasantly different from here on. Just yeah. don't know how Thank much. Thank you for sending us, Jay. How much you've done for us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. I would like to say to Jay's mom that she has a wonderful, wonderful, beautiful, caring son. And I'm sure she knows it. Don't go. I won't come back. <laughs> okay, bye. It was truly sad to see Jay go. He's part of our family now. And uh, if there's anything that I could do for Jay to help him, I will surely be there for him. Definitely start showing you guys a lot more respect and listening to you guys and like not do all that stupid stuff. That's good to hear.